We're gonna run past these guys and blow none of them up. That was, yeah, that worked out well. Oh shit. Are we gonna blow ourselves up? <laughs>
Um, I'm thinking about having an entrance on this side. So building, you know, like some la a, a ladder up onto this roof and then a ladder all the way up here. And then I mentioned, I think to you guys in the last episode, I've been also pondering doing an entrance on this side. You know, you know coming up off that roof somewhere and no longer using this central area. Because here's the thing. I, I hang out here, you know, in this area here. So all the zombies congregate down at the center. And so if, I, if I'm coming up the sides of the building, they're not going to concentrate on the sides that I come up. They're going to always move towards the center. Um, so, in, you know, from that standpoint, my entrance to the building, my current entrance to the building is about the worst place I could possibly have it. So that's another thing that I'll probably work on, you know, doing off camera. Or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll do a building episode and I'll... I'll do that with you guys, but I got to get the resources gathered up first. So I need to get more wood going. Uh, in fact, how much wood do I have in here? I've got a bunch of wood back at the, our original base that I just need to haul back here too. So yeah, I just need to go get those resources. So anyway, let's grab this if it's ready. And we don't need that pinned up there any longer. And we'll increase the space of our mini bike to 500. So now it's on par with the motorcycle in terms of its capacity. But like I said, we're going to use the bike one more time until I get, just get a little bit more gas. Okay, so um, I will see you guys over at the quest location. All right, here we are. Um, we're going to do just a minimal double looting as usual. However, we have a bear in the area and I don't like that. So let's go grab a couple stones and see if we can send him down the road a ways. Okay, that should send him for far enough away, I hope. Let's check these mailboxes. Nice. Got some cars out here to look at. Um, oh, that one's empty. Oh, yeah, you know what? We did the popping pills the other day, and I must have crossed over and checked these two. That's fine. Check the garbage. Okay, let's do this all again. All right, we're going to go to this mailbox here and stash our heaviest stuff uh, that we don't want to take with us, that is. Um, I'm not even going to take that. If you guys wonder why I'm not harvesting vultures, it's because I've got a ton of feathers, a ton of rotten meat, and a ton of bones. So, And those buzzards don't disappear. They stick around, so I can always go back later and harvest them if I need to. So just throwing that out there. Uh, you know what? Let's actually eat that. I forgot to get our food and water going before we left, which wasn't the smartest thing in the world, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe what we'll do is take a vitamin two, and we'll also eat this just to get ourselves nice and topped off on the food. I'm sure we'll probably find some beverage in there, uh, you know, to handle that too. Okay, so let's put this stuff in here as well. We'll keep those with us. That, we can turn one of these into a bandage anyway. And then just put the rest of that in there. Okay, that's good enough. I don't care about that. That should be good enough. All right, let's get this down here and get this sucker done. So this is a clear and retrieve. I see five red dots.
We need to keep them all coming uh, from coming after us at the same exact time. Okay, there's a red dot over here. It's a copper. Okay, now we have three red dots. We might be able to snipe Arlene from here. Well, we hit her anyway. They're all feral. Nice. 31, 44 rounds. I've been thinking about... I know I've already told you guys this. I've been thinking about doing the... The Magnum. The problem, though, is I don't have any points in it right now, and I have more important things to be putting points into. Boy, do I want to check all these clothes. I don't think I do. Or I might come back and do it off camera. I'm not going to check them around right now. There's just too many of them. We probably don't need any of those clothes. We're, we're in pretty good shape on clothing. So we'll check everything else except for the clothes for now. Got some food. Um, both of these will give us a little hydration too, so let's just eat, eat them for that reason. Isn't there usually a zombie down here? Maybe we already woke him up. Okay, I heard a either a cop or a ball sack. The zombo, it's cop. Okay, he's been dealt with. There's some um, yucca. Let's drink that. That should get our hydration topped off. No books in those shelves down there, unfortunately. It's too bad, but it is what it is. This is all clothing here. Uh, here's a bookshelf. And those bookshelves are empty. Okay. Now for the back room. Oh, yeah, we got this stuff here, too. Very nice. Put that on our pick. Ooh, that could be an upgrade too. Let's we'll have to look at that. Uh that might be an up Oh wow, look at that. That's some good stuff, you guys. Alright, what do we got now? Uh we have iron gloves on. These are absolutely an upgrade. Those are superior steel gloves. Let's take the mod off of here. If I put uh, this on. Super nice upgrade. Let's grab our pick, and we will take this iron breaker off. The difference is this does 10.1 damage. This does 23.8 damage. Huge difference. Wow, very nice. Okay. Helmet. We have a D-level SWAT helmet. This is a purple-level steel helmet. It is just slightly better. So let's take the mod off of here. Put it on here. And that's an upgrade too. Fantastic. Okay, pantalones. Um, you know what? These I would say these are an upgrade. They're 0.3 less armor-wise, but they're better in every other way. And they're A-level military pants. So we are gonna switch to these too. Wow, all three of those armor pieces were upgrades for us. Gotta love the wasteland. This is why why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. All the pain we're going through is for this purpose here, to get all this really good loot. Okay, cool. Let's check this shelf. And I think that's good. 
there. So let's continue on. I think here, let's close these doors and then just deal with these guys. You, you get hit in the nuts. Alright, anything in here? Just close. Check the sack, or the box rather. Some food? Nice. Alright, now for the fun part. Let's make sure everybody's loaded up here. And um, I'm probably, let's, I've got plenty of these. Let's just pop one now. Let's stay, let's stay on the safe side here. Okay, we are in the wasteland and this is a tier four quest. So we want to use every precaution here. Got all those red dots. Is there any chance in hell that we could pull them one at a time? I don't think so. I think they're all going to come at the same time. See, the problem is, too, is you can't see where they are. Man, they are really hiding good, aren't they? Are they up, up on, all up on the roof? The hell are you guys at? Okay. Yeah, we've we've aggroed them all. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to put our pipe bombs down here. We're gonna run up past these guys and blow none of them up. That was yeah, that worked out well. Oh shit. Are we gonna blow ourselves up? <laughs> I'm glad we took the, uh, whatchamacallits. All right. You guys are going to make me do this the hard way. Thank God for Ford Bites. Whew. Okay. I think that cleared all of these yahoos out. Let's check the boxes. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that, guys. Woo-wee. That is an upgrade. Oh, yes, it is. All right, let's take the thingy off here. We've been using this H level comp or yeah, H level compound bow for so long. Oh man, and I got some other mods back at the base that'll fit on here too. So basically, we went from 63 damage to 89 damage unmodded. Woo wee! Okay, this is turning out to be a good raid. Yes, it is. Let's check this. Okay, we got that in a savage country box too. So these must have archery things in it, in, a, in addition to just clothing, obviously. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, there might there's another Zom or two or, or ten over here. We still have Fort Bites going, don't we? Do we? Yeah, we do. Okay, we can handle these guys. Okay, so the clear is done. Uh, Satchel is back here. Let's not forget that. It is... 
here. Okay, cool. Quest is finished. Let's open these up. Got some data points there. Ten percent more damage to humans. Um, what is? I think we want the end thing here because it gives us more harvest and stuff. So we're gonna learn it for that purpose. All right, and uh, I think that's it except for the main stash. There's a little trash up there too. Oh, with some presto logs, nice. Okay, let's throw back a uh, jailbreaker. And open this guy up. What do we get? Um, titanium machete. Do we want that? I don't know. Yeah. Let's take it. And I think we might have just gotten ourselves a boot upgrade, too. Yes, we have. Wow, it was worth coming in this place, man. I'll tell you what. Absolutely worth coming in here. Okay, so uh, let's just run up on the roof real quick. I don't remember what's up here. There shouldn't be any zombies up here because we finished the clear. Uh, there's a, a bag to loot. And a bird's nest. I like this tier 4. It's probably the fastest tier 4 in the game to get through, I think. Or one of the fastest. Some bird's nests over here, too. Okay. So we're going to head to the other town now. And yes, I know there's more stuff in here I can loot, but I'd rather get this... Tier 4 turned in and keep moving. And I might come back here off camera later on to grab all this clothing and this dye. Or I might not. We'll see. We already checked that, right? No promises, man. No promises. Let's, before we actually leave, let's just do this. And let's do this. Uh, we're going to put stuff in here that we don't need right away. Uh, that's heavy. Good enough. Let's make sure we mark this so I remember that I have drop chests here. And let's go head over to the other town and do this turning. Alright, we are at the trader. Let's go ahead and do our turn in here. No loitering. Yeah. I don't have to, we gotta worry about that dog. Oh really? That's all you're gonna give us? Oh man. That's worth two thirty nine, that's worth thirty eight. We got plenty of vitamins and I have more back at the base, so I guess we'll take this. Uh alright. That's a pretty shitty reward for a tier four quest, Hugh. I'm just gonna throw that out at you, buddy. Uh, all right, what else we got here? Uh, Northwest, Old Mansard House, Coleman's Drive-In. Yeah, let's do the drive-in. All right, let's take a look at your inventory, too, by the way. You reset on day 50. So, oh, these are new. How much do those cost? Five sixty-nine. Yeah, we're going to buy those. We are going to buy those. All right, what else you got in your secret? How much does that cost? Fifteen thirty. We could buy that. No, we can't. Actually, we don't have enough money. Uh, what's this do? Learn how to harvest brass from doors. Okay. Time to move on. Um, that is great. Okay, so we're gonna do modify. We're gonna put that in there, and we're going to 
Uh, I guess we'll have to just switch it out in the duster because we have this one. All right, that gets us up to 231 uh, weight capacity here. Okay, so uh, we took the next job from him. Now we have some um, gasolines to gather, and we have a Tier 1 quest to do in this town for Trader Joel. Let's take care of you first. And we're going to go to here and make that the active quest. Okay, so we have a bunch of places here that I marked for gas, but last time we were here, of course, I didn't have my gas cans with me. And the quest is in the north, so let's go to... Oh, the trader himself's got gas. Okay, let's get that first. So I'm going to go around and gather all of the gas first, and then we will go... Uh, do the tier one quest. All right, let's go ahead and start the quest here. And then we'll reloot again as usual. And I heard a buzzard. Get the hell out of here, man. Bunch of shit we don't need. Okay. Got trash here. Okay, so Quest wants us to go in there, but we have some zombie doodles opening the door here. Down with you, man.
And we're already at the fat loots because we went in the wrong direction, but that's right. Here's somebody coming here. You're just an outside Zeke. You're not even part of the quest, lady. You too? All right, come here. Anybody else? I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, well, we were supposed to go in uh, from up above. So let's just do the path because we have to clear everything out of here, including you. There's a couple of you. You guys are dead. Let's stop for a second, take one of these. And we actually are kind of hungry and thirsty too. So let's take some of this. And looks like that's about all we got for food, food at the moment. So, all right, let's just keep going here. Jump down here. Got a trash. Get us right through the door. Hey, cut that out, man. Okay, we got a thingy here. And a thingy here. And I guess we already checked that. Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. A little medicine cabinet. Off with your head. All right, let's take another one of these, and we got some canned food here. Let's eat those. Nobody in here. Come this way. You dead. And that's it for in there. Probably have a Zeke in the kitchen, maybe? No? Oh, return to trader. We're done. Okay. Let's grab that. We got a superior level um, uh, baton, police baton thing. Probably not going to use it, but it's nice loot, though. Let's grab this. Whoops. And grab the crack a book. There we go. Shepherd's Pie and Bladed Weapons do 10% more damage at night. We'll take it. And we got a couple skill points, too. That's even better. I think that's about it. Okay. Well, that's Vominos. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the rest of the fuel uh, in the town here. Uh, that drop chest is probably going to have to wait. Uh, Trader Gas, let's... Uh, we got... Wait, did I get all the gas at the Trader? I don't think I did, actually. Okay, yeah, we gotta go back there then, too. Um, so let's go back to this Trader, get the gas that's there. I don't remember getting it, so I don't think I did. I think I was going to and I forgot to. Uh, then I'm going to get the gas from the rest of the other places in town here. Then we're going to go back to the city and do the turn-in for Trader Joel. Okay, is that all the gas that he has here? I think it might be. also encumbered which sucks yeah I think that's all the gas that's here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to just read trader now um, this icon here okay let's go down here down here we'll swing up here and then cross back over
combat knife. A level. Not as good as our saw blade sword. Oil schematic. Man, too bad that wasn't the gas schematic. Do this turn in here. Well earned, traveler. Uh, yep. I don't have one of those. I'm going to take it. And we are now at the end of tier one for this guy. We don't need a bicycle parts. Farm bundle might be nice. Traps bundle. Mm, let's take the farm bundle because a bundle of farm plots around seeds. We need to get a farm started. So I think that'll work best for us. Got any special jobs? Opening Can trade you hit routes. Me with my problem. Trader Hugh. I think that's our You're trader. Man. Is that our trader? Yeah, <laughs> that's funny that he sent us back to our trader. Okay, uh, and then uh, the next time we talk to this dude, we should be able to start taking uh, tier two quests. So, and I think we've already checked his inventory, right? Uh, well, have we actually? Let's look. Let's just look and see what he's got here. Got a couple motorcycles there. Mini bike wheel. Dune Runner dashboard. I guess we already know that. Motorcycle handlebars. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't oh, really have anything we apologies. want. Let's see what this one's Check got. Back again and I may have what you're looking for. Got some nice armor pieces there. And in secret stash, you have not really anything Take we want. Time. Okay. All righty, you guys. Well, that is it for today's episode. So I'm going to go back to the base. And where is my bike it's right here uh, i'm gonna go back to the base i'm gonna take uh tomorrow in game tomorrow off it's day 54 maybe even possibly two days off we'll see um and i'm going to do a bunch of mining resource gathering i'm gonna work on the base a bit you know with those new uh entry entries entries and exits that i have talked to you guys about and Decide what I'm going to do for Horde Knight. One option for Horde Knight is to go back to our original Horde base now that we can make concrete and reinforce the shit out of it. I can even make a steel vault door now. Um, or we might try something here in the wasteland. I haven't really... I, I've got one idea that I'm pondering, but I'm not going to share that idea with you guys yet until I think it through a little bit more and decide whether or not I'm actually going to do it because it's... Oh, come on, stamina. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, I will, uh, I'll let you know, uh, one way or the other, <laughs> I will let you know, uh, what we are going to do for Horde 56. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.